the program is wonderful. It is kind of like a community within LPS and kind of that smaller community. Good job. Smart. So our deaf and hard of hearing program um, serves students K-21, so in Independence Academy as well. Um, students who have a severe hearing loss that would impact their ability to be in the classroom and access their learning environment. Kind of the model at middle school is um, pushing into the classroom and helping students um, kind of in that mainstream setting, helping students inside their um, like core content classrooms. Um, and then sometimes I pull students out in order to work with them one-on-one -on, -one on certain skills that they're working on. So I think overall right now, when you look at all of our teachers, we have about 120 to 130 students that we're currently serving in some capacity. Um, either that we're just doing you know, check-ins with them, all the way down to students who are getting more intensive services and working on advocating for their needs, um, maybe even still learning some sign. So this is my 12th school year at Irving as the center-based teacher of the deaf and hard of hearing. And I think over these years, I've just seen and worked with so many great families, wonderful families who advocate for their students, who want their students to do well and be successful. There are just some things here that are unique, like the sign language aspect. There's lots of students who, who want to learn sign language so that they can communicate with our students who use that. And there are students who want to maybe have a club so they can learn more about sign language. At our cluster sites or our center-based sites, it is totally a community. It's really fun when you go to Beatty, Irving, and Southeast and just how all students and all staff are really aware of students in the building who maybe have that hearing loss or have no hearing at all. Um, and they do a great job of accommodating um, and really making those st students feel part of that learning environment. So it's really fun to see that. Not one size doesn't fit all, all the time. And so Lincoln Public Schools has given the opportunity for students who need some kind of different kind of supports to have a center-based program, an option to see the teacher every day. So it's important because students need to be able to access their learning environment um, to have equitable opportunities for all students. So if a student isn't able to hear as well, um, they might be missing instruction, they might not be able to engage with their peers as well as others, and so these services really ensure that our students have those equitable opportunities to be involved and have all the opportunities that all of our students would.